What's going on, guys? Um, we had a request on how we pack our orders so they don't die during shipment. So I'm just gonna give you um, a quick rundown on what we do. Obviously, I pulled the bin ready. We're gonna pull out some mediums and smalls. So we're gonna take our egg crates. They get smacked into here. I'll make this part pretty short. This is what we end up with. From there, these are gonna get sifted in size. So they're gonna go through this quarter inch screen. Everything that goes through the quarter inch screen I know isn't big enough to be a medium. Uh, those quarter inch screens will get sifted again through another set of holes for smalls. Um, Largest, same thing. But we're gonna start with this. So that's gonna get poured. into our sifter bin. So you can see that's up here. Little by little, the ones that aren't big enough to fall through. After these sift for a little bit, I'm gonna put them, actually they're gonna go into this bin again. And we need this here is a little bit bigger. I believe this is 3 8 I messed up when I first made it, so there's a piece of tape over it. That's going to sit. Everything that falls through this hole becomes a medium. Everything that's not is either a large, extra large, or an adult. I don't think we need too many mediums today. I just put them back on the website. So we only have about three or four orders for them. As that's sifting, I'll show you the bag we use. This here is a six by 10 cloth bag. You can get them at Uline. Um, I write what the order is, 50 medium. This is for orange heads. Obviously these aren't orange heads, but I already hand wrote the, ba hand wrote the bags. They're gonna get an egg crate that goes inside. I just stuff all the bags full of egg crates. Those egg crates will then go, or in the bag. The bag goes um, in here. This is just a six by four box. Um, when we use heat packs, I poke a hole in the side just to let the air in. Um, it's pretty simple. It's gonna be just like so. Tape, label goes on it. I put it on uh, one on each side. The bottom of the label says live animals on it. That allows the USPS person to know that there's live animals in it. And hopefully it tells them not to put it in a mailbox or a hot place or a cold place, vice versa, whatever. From there, the package goes out the door, plain and simple, mission accomplished. 